to my channel. Today is going to be a few days in my life vlog. It is currently Sunday. I'm about to make some green juice, which I'm really excited for. I have it all prepared in front of me. It is seriously one of my favorite things to do for my skin health when I'm breaking out. I feel like it works really well for reducing inflammation and for just providing your skin with lots of good vitamins and minerals and nutrients. And I feel like it tastes really good too because I do put lemon and ginger in there. That kind of balances the flavors and the lemon also makes it last a little bit longer. So I usually make a bigger portion and then I have these little glass bottles with caps on and I keep them in my fridge and then I don't have to juice every single day but I still have a fresh juice. So this is typically what I love to juice. I've got celery, cucumber, lemon, and ginger and recently I've also been putting in some fresh parsley. This smells so good and parsley is so nutritious for your body as well so putting it in this juice just gives it a little extra oomph. It tastes really refreshing and I love how my body feels when I drink this. And this is my juicer. It is a slow press juicer. So it will squeeze and kind of grind the vegetables up to extract the juice. So the juice comes here, the pulp goes here. The benefit of a slow press juicer is that you usually get more juice out so the pulp is drier but it does take a little bit more time to do the actual juicing process. I did also own a centrifugal juicer like this from Breville. This is the one that I had when I lived in New York and I really loved it as well, but it is a centrifugal, so it spins the juice out. Works really great as well. I will have both of them linked down below for you. I do also like to have this little container on hand because the juice collector here gets pretty full so halfway through i transfer it to here and then i'll already fill up the cups and then i'll keep juicing and then add in the rest it also makes it a little bit easier to pour in to the glasses because of this uh, gathered part here so just a little tip if you also like to juice or make bigger portions like me Just a little tip if you're also using a slow press juicer like this, I find that they work best if you do have some softer, more juicier things like cucumbers or lemons to mix those with the denser vegetables so you're not just running through the juicier vegetables because then the machine can get a bit clogged. So I like to do cucumber and then celery and then lemon followed by, for example, ginger. So making sure that something a bit harder and denser is followed by the softer one. I feel like it just helps the machine work a little bit better and gets more of the juice out. As I'm finishing up my green juice, which is delicious by the way, I am also going to be making myself some breakfast. And I found these on Amazon. These are basically guides to make poached eggs. So you pop this in some boiling water and you pour the egg through that side and it cooks in here. And I thought this was really cool because of course poached eggs are so nice, but they are pretty difficult to make. So I'm excited to try these and they store really well as well. So these actually fold and they become like that big. So they're easy to put in your drawers. So I'm going to have those on top of some avocado toast. So let's try this out. I'm very excited to see if this actually works. Ok 
okay so this actually looks pretty good i do think i might have overcooked the eggs yeah they're quite hard but the idea works so next time i'm just going to keep them in for a little bit less but yeah this is definitely still going to be really good so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I think one of the most empowering things that we can do for ourselves in terms of how we feel, our calmness, our confidence, and just general ease of life is to have control over our financial health. You guys know I love to talk about mental health, about physical health, emotional health, but looking into our finances and making sure that that part of our life is healthy and looked after as well, I think is so important. And also ironically, even though it is such a huge part of life it's not always something that's taught very clearly in schools it's something that we really need to educate ourselves on and just feel really empowered with and learn about of course life experience helps a lot too and just like making mistakes and then knowing like okay that was maybe not the best way to deal with my money or that really worked well let me do more of that but over the years I've really seen the power and the impact of what it is to save even if it is just a little bit each month that makes me feel really really good because at the end of the day having that financial security and feeling that confidence in yourself and knowing that you're able to take care of yourself and your family that means a lot so I think it's really important to invest in that and keep learning about it there are some really great books on personal finance I'll pop in a few of them here if you guys want to check those out but another really incredible resource that I would highly recommend is the modern money habits course on Skillshare it's taught by Justin Bridges and he is a former financial pro and he talks you through exactly how to take control of your personal finances with clear and actionable steps and I just loved his attitude and general energy around this topic as well as I said it can be quite scary and daunting to go into this into detail but I feel like his energy is super calm and collected and he just made this topic really easy to understand and very digestible and again just gives you really clear and actionable steps on how to take control of your finances from evaluating what you have going on today but also looking into your future I definitely took away a lot of good points from the course and I would highly highly recommend it if you guys want to take this course for free Skillshare are offering the first 1,000 people who click the link down below a free trial of Skillshare premium and after that it's only around $10 a month and in case you guys haven't heard of Skillshare yet they are an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people you can explore new skills you can develop existing interests and just get lost in creativity I've been a member on Skillshare for a few years now and I love their courses on productivity entrepreneurship graphic design photography even some really great lifestyle courses like this one so if you're uncertain about what's next some of these creativity courses can be really helpful in guiding you and doing some really great self-exploration I love those types of courses as well so Skillshare really Really focuses on offering membership with meaning you can connect with other students in your class so whether you're looking to do something productive with your time or focus on self-care through creativity or join a similarly creative community then Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving again the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box down below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so I'll make sure to have this information for you down below in the description box along with the name of the course that I took which is is the Modern Money Habits by Justin Bridges. Again, I would highly recommend it to really take control of your financial health and he offers so many great tips and takeaways and I really, really loved it. So I will have that information down below. I am now out on my walk and it was actually raining a lot today and just as I wanted to go out, it stopped raining, <laughs> which is amazing. But I do have on my rain boots. I've got an umbrella here in case it starts raining. I hope you guys can see all of these beautiful flowers that are here. They're so, so pretty. The purple, like lots of different colors too. So nice. And it's kind of sunny which is amazing. Hello guys, it is a new day. 
I'm about to head into a facial. I wanted to make sure that I get a facial before our wedding, but I didn't want it to be too close to the actual day or the week in case she wants to do some extractions because those can take some time to heal and I didn't want to have like, you know, any scabs or open things on my face. So I am going now. Our wedding is in three weeks three or four weeks so that's going to be plenty of time for my skin to heal if she is going to do any extractions you guys probably know i'm a big fan of hydrofacials i find them really really effective i also really love microneedling if you have old scarring or discoloration any rough texture on your skin that can be really helpful as well we'll see what we end up doing today and of course i will take you guys along and show you what we do It is the next day and I've just received an order from Revolve with some really, really cute pieces. I still haven't tried these on, so I thought I would try them on with you guys and show you what I got. I also got some body jewelry. This is one of the pieces. You can see it has some diamonds there in the middle and then these chains go from like your chest down around your waist and then two swimsuits as well and this pretty sarong so i'm gonna try these pieces on for you guys and we'll see what i'm gonna keep i did also find this really beautiful green silky dress when we were in paris this is from zara and it has this really nice gathering here at the waist so it creates like a really nice shape and this fits really beautifully as well and the straps are adjustable which is great so you can you know really adjust it to make it fit for you Okay, so this is the first dress. I really love this one. It's super comfortable and I love the yellow color. It feels like really nice and summery. And of course, these sleeves are so pretty and I feel like it has something quite Spanish about it. And we are, of course, gonna be in Ibiza for our wedding week. So I think this is gonna be really, really nice. The back is also very pretty. So it has an open back with a small little clasp at the top. Okay, this next dress I really, really love. It has that similar kind of eyelet detail on the fabric, which I've always loved for summer dresses. And it's again, just very comfortable. I love the white and these cute little uh, tassels here. And I just think the details in general are super pretty. The only thing though is that the top part fits quite tight so just keep that in mind if you have a larger chest than me then it is a little bit snug but other than that it's so pretty and i also really love the back it has this really cute crossing and again those little kind of like pom-poms so so cute okay so this is the third dress that i found i actually really love this one too it's a little bit more simple and minimal in terms of like the design but there's just something so nice about easy and flowy dresses like this for summertime when it's super hot it's also quite nice and lightweight and again i love the little eyelet detail here and the back is very simple so it's not open or anything it's just a really nice classic and easy simple design i just noticed that it also has these little pockets on the side which i think is really cute too okay next is the green silky dress from zara has that nice gathering here at the waist. And again, these straps are adjustable so you can make it fit really well to your body, which I love. See, I really love this. I think this is so stunning and the color is just so gorgeous as well in the fabric. And this is what the back looks like. 
Okay, next up is the black swimsuit with this sarong. I really love the print on this. It's got these like big leaves, green leaves with some black and white and like beige colors. So it's kind of like the perfect color palette for me. And I like that it's gonna go with both a black swimsuit and also white. And I tied it pretty short on the side, but it is quite long so you can actually wear this as like a full-on skirt and then the swimsuit is really fun so this is a one piece and i love the design of this it's very unique but the back is cut very cheeky <laughs> you are very exposed in the back so that's why i like a sarong like this to kind of just balance that out so you can still have like a fun look going on but not feel like to open but yeah I really like this I think the design is very unique and you can also just tie this part here at the center of your chest and have it be like a little bow that falls down or if you want to have more support you can tie it around your neck and that's what it looks like without the sarong so it's cut quite high on the leg which is very flattering and the last thing I got is this white swimming suit which is very pretty it again has that nice cut out detail and i don't know if the camera can pick up on the fabric but it is a swimming suit but it does have this really cool like kind of denser fabric and it has this really pretty design on it as well and i love the uh, top of this so this part like the neckline is very pretty and then the back is just very simple like so we do have a boat day planned for one of the days of the week and i was thinking of either wearing this one or the black one on that day let me know which one you guys prefer and which one you think i should wear so i will probably wear the sarong with this one too but um yeah let me know which one you prefer either this or the black one so for dinner tonight, I had some ground turkey that I wanted to use. So I made these really delicious teriyaki bowls with some brown rice and spinach. And then with the rest of the ground turkey, I made these meatballs. These are so great to put on top of salads or have as a snack or even in a bowl with some other things. And I love to have things like this just meal prepped in the fridge, especially for when we're really busy. So I'm starting by making those. And of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe down below in the description box for you but they're pretty simple and easy to make you just throw all the ingredients together you mix it up and you form these little golf sized balls and then those will go into the oven for about 20 minutes and as those are baking I'm moving on to the teriyaki bowls starting by making the sauce again I'll make sure to have this recipe down below for you in the description box And I always love adding in lots of fresh vegetables, so I put in some freshly grated carrots and some broccoli. And this is, by the way, what the meatballs look like once they're baked. Again, such a great thing to have meal prepped. I just keep them in a glass container in the fridge. And to garnish the bowls, I just put some green onion on top and some sesame seeds, and we really, really enjoyed this. So I love it. What do you think? It's ridiculous, ridiculous good. Can you say that, ridiculous good? I can say it's ridiculously good. It is, it is really good. Oh my God, it's, it tastes like being at the Japanese. So good. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm.